going to be looking at angles between 3D vectors. We're looking at this question as an example to show you how to find the angle. Okay, first of all, before we even start that, you need to be confident with how to find the magnitude of a vector. Uh, we'll do that in a second. So the magnitude of a vector you have to be able to find. Um, and also you need to be confident with uh, cosine rule. Um, you may to re remind yourself. So that looks like a squared equals b squared plus c squared. Take away 2bc cos a. Okay, if you're confident with them two things, then applying them to this is how you find the angle. Okay, um, right, so we're going to start with a diagram. Now, my diagram is not going to be uh, accurate. It's just going to be there to help us see where the calculations are coming from, okay? Um, so I'm going to have these two vectors. They're going to be, um, I'm going to position them so that they're uh, coming from the same point, and I'm going to work out the angle in between them. Okay, so let's... Um, we, let's write them as a position vector. We could write them anywhere, but let's start from the origin. So let's have some point O, and we're going to have some vector uh, A. It's going to go up like this, and some vector B. Let's call that A, shall we? Uh, a, and some vector B. Coming off at another angle, it's going to be the vector B. Okay. Now, clearly, I've drawn this on a two D plane. They would be in up in. Um, in three dimensions. You could, however, always fit that onto two dimensions, so you could model it on 2D, um, uh, which is effectively what we're going to do. Uh, cool. And what we're going to be finding is this angle here. Uh, let's call it, um, I don't want to call it, let's call it theta. Okay. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to work out the length of this line, the length of this line, and the length of the line between them, then we have three sides, we have A, B, and C. We can then rearrange this to work out our angle. Okay, so uh, we're gonna have to find out this length here, which is gonna be uh, the magnitude of A. So let's do a little bit of calculations underneath. Uh, so the magnitude of A, uh, we're doing Pythagoras in 3D here. So you've got the square root of three squared, put it in brackets, plus square root, uh, sorry, plus seven squared, plus negative one squared. So into your calculator, we've got nine, add one, add four, add fit, root 59. Okay, next up, we're gonna find, uh, we can label that side, let's label it. And uh, this is gonna be root 59. Leave it as a third, so it's exact, then right at the end we can round to get our answer. Uh, let's find this value here, which is the magnitude of B, uh, so to find the magnitude of B, we're going to follow the same steps. We've got uh, negative 4 squared plus 5 squared uh, plus 9 squared. Oops. And 9. Sorry, 3, negative 3 squared. Already squaring it in my head. Um, square root all of that. We get 16 plus 25 plus 9, 60, 50, uh, 50 is 25 times 2, which is 5, root 2, okay, uh, so this here is going to be 5, root 2, okay, now we're going to have to do a little bit of uh, vector um, um, addition to work out this line here. So I'm just going to add it on real quick. Uh, let's do that. So from here to here. Uh, you could go in either direction. Um, let's go from A to B. Let's go in alphabetical order. So we're going to go in this direction. So from here, you need to go down this one. So you're going to take the negative of A, so the negative of this. Um, let's call uh, this Tell you what, let's define it as points. So let's say we follow vector A and we get to point capital A. Follow vector B, we get to point capital B. This line here would be A, B as a vector. Okay, and we're going to work out whatever that is as a magnitude. So A, B. Let's go from A back to the origin. Um, so that's going to be the negative of this. Uh, so it's going to be negative of 3, negative 
of 7 and a negative of negative 1 as a vector. So we've gone down this one, now we've got to go back up this one, so we're going to add b. Negative 4, 5, negative 3. Okay, so we've taken the negative of this one to get back this way and this way. Remember, we don't have a value to go straight there, um, but if we work out how to get from here to here, it will give us that vector. So that's what I'm working out here. Um, so let's have a look here. We've got negative 3 plus negative 4, which is negative 7. Negative 7 plus 5, which is going to be negative 2. Um, and negative of negative 1, which is positive 1, plus negative 3 is going to be negative 2. Okay, so this is like our vector from A to B. Now we're going to find the magnitude of that. Uh, let me do a little bit of working underneath. We have our magnitude of A, B, which is just going to be all of these, negative 7 squared plus negative 2 squared plus negative 2 squared. All square rooted. Uh, what's that going to be? Plus 8 root 57. Okay, so this length here is going to be root 57. Okay, now we've got three sides of our triangle. We're looking for the angle. We're now going to stick into this. Now I'm going to relabel my triangle um, just so that I don't have to rewrite this out loads and loads of times. Oh, we've got the cosine rule there. So I'm going to say this capital A, this is lowercase a, this uh, can be B or C, does not really matter. Okay, right then. So let's rearrange this to begin with. We're going to have a squared, take away b squared, take away c squared, divided by negative 2bc. And we're going to take the inverse cos of that. And that will give you our value of a, or in this case, theta. So now let's substitute everything in. So we've got cos to minus 1 of a squared. Uh, so this side we said was a, so root 57 squared is just 57. Take away b squared, so that's this one. Root 59 squared is just going to be um, 59. Take away c squared, or oh, 5 right 2, uh, was root 50, so it's just going to be 50. Okay, all divided by 2 times bc, so negative 2 times b is root 59. This is going to be, we'll leave it like that, 5 root 2. Okay, close your brackets. Well, now you've got your square roots uh, typed into your calculator, be careful to make sure your bracket is outside the square root, otherwise it will give you a maths error. And you may spend ages trying to find it. Make sure that you move your little cursor outside of the square root. Uh, this is going to give us our angle theta. If you type that into a calculator, uh, theta will be 61.4 degrees, and that's to 3 sig fig. Okay, so we've answered our question. The angle between A and B is 61.4. Okay, the other thing to consider is we decided to put these two um, vectors coming from the same point. This vector B here could have been up somewhere like here, in which case we've worked out this angle here, but there would be another angle here, in which case you would just do 180 take away 61. Generally, they'll want that angle in between there, okay?